smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be working on a video for my brother's car. I have Casey over here, he's a subscriber of mine that reached out. Um, I'm gonna have his Instagram somewhere where you're gonna be putting your hand. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That didn't <laughs> right there. So um, we're gonna be um, pretty much, he's gonna be helping us remove the Oz tire pressure. Hopefully, like it's too Hopefully, really hopefully. Good. Because basically, as I showed you guys in the last video, I removed the, the light bulb error, you know, reading the codes, but the tire pressure monitoring light um, that didn't come off that easy. So he's gonna hopefully try to help remove the light without actually fixing the issue. And we really don't need, you know, tire pressure monitoring systems on these things, especially, with, you know, considering the year really doesn't matter anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and try that and uh, we'll show you guys the process. She's in love with the concept As if we're all just how she imagined Cause we're in love, I just don't know yet <laughs> Well tell me how am I supposed to see the All right, I'm taking over now. Uh, first thing, what you want to do is come down to your fuse panel. Uh, this is a 07328 coupe, so there was three fuses I pulled, which I don't think all three should be pulled, but looking on here, there's fuse 13, fuse 28, fuse 24 I pulled. See right back there, just pull them out with some needle nose pliers. You should be good to the five amperage ones. Go ahead and put the car in accessory mode. Using IMPA, it's me a later version of IMPA. Shift F2, get your E90. Just using just using this to make sure that the ignition and battery are both on. Make sure we got a good connection with the cable. Click that. Load up MCS Expert, which is you're gonna use for the actual removal. Load profile, expert man profile, VIN, ECU, E89, CAS. Make sure everything loads. Everything loads. Go to Enter FA. Enter your chassis, the E89. Make sure the VIN matches up what it should. Click OK. Since I've already done what needs to be done, the FA, the value is not going to be there. Scroll down to the money 2VB, which should be down here. Click on it, then you click Delete for that number. I've already deleted it, so it's not going to be here. Then you go to attribute up here and you're gonna add the value 265 and click add and then it should add to your FA. Click OK, then you should be good. I've already added it, so I'm not gonna do it. Then go back down here, go back into your ECU, load up the cast ECU. Back back out. You're gonna process ECU. Go down to the cast module again. Change job. FA right. Then go ahead and click execute job and it should do the job and you should be good for that module. Alright, file, load profile. Expert node profile. Gonna go down to, right now you have all these modules listed right here. Gonna go ahead and click process cars. So it will take some time to do. It's gonna basically reset all the programs back to whatever you have listed for your FA values. Since you removed one and added one, it's gonna code all those values back to the certain modules. If you have stuff coded already in the description, there should be a, a link to the post, so M3 post with the certain values you, values you have to add in order to change the, the systems without having to wipe everything back to stock. Go ahead and turn the car back on. All right, right away, you see, the light's gone. No CPMS, no exclamation point, no nothing. Just be sure to reset your clock and the date if it resets and you're good to go. Alright guys, so as you see, um, Casey was able to pretty much erase the code as if there is no tire pressure sensor there at all, which is amazing. Um, so I'm really happy about that. My brother's super psyched about it. He's gonna be helping me code a few more things if possible on my car, so that'll be in a future video. But uh, yeah, really happy about that. I also just wanna give a huge shout out to Casey. He drove out here. I didn't even you know, go to his house because I had both cars to program. So shout out to him. He lives about you know an hour, yeah, an hour. roughly an hour away. That's with traffic or without traffic? Uh, with traffic. With traffic. So. I mean, shout out to you. Yeah. Um, he has his own business, actually, that he does unlock these hidden features, that even erases codes um, that you can't do off the Carly adapter. So, I want to say a little bit about what you yeah, do. Uh, pretty much, I'm just using the computer. It's not, it's not Carly at all, but it just, the features you can do or stuff Carly doesn't allow, it's stuff you can have to, if you want to code modules, retrofit things, it's going to be required in order to coding like that. I mean, pretty flexible on location. You can 
I can pretty much go anywhere you need me to as long as you help with some gas and other than that, uh, I'll throw my Instagram down there and then go from there to shoot me a message. We'll, I can send you the list and stuff and we'll be good. Yeah, so right on. So like, uh, like he said, Instagram, his Instagram is going to be down below. Make sure you guys follow him. And uh, if you guys have any questions or you guys need his assistance and you guys are around my area, his area, so you're in your city, um, around the Sacramento Oak Grove area, um, you just hit either one of us up and I'll let him know. Um, but yeah, honestly guys, coding is not my number one thing. You guys know I can fix things. But coding is a whole nother level. So shout out to him for reaching out. Um, but yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy.